Welcome to the world of Phuket Word. It's absolute groundhog day with this chap. Okay, he's been making videos on Flat Earth since 2015. If you go through his channel, you'll see how he has not progressed one single pace forward. Like Flat Earth has done nothing for him to progress anything. He's been making the same videos 2015 with the whiteboard. Here he is, 2018 with the whiteboard. Same little diagrams, little man on the top of the earth, little man on the boat on the top of the earth. Okay, he's just making the same stuff. He has not progressed his understanding, his, his, uh, how our eyes perceive. Where's the thumbnail there? He hasn't progressed his understanding forward anywhere he's just saying the same stuff same stuff uh, here perspective and parallel lines same thing same stuff three years ago he seems to understand the laws of perspective but when he goes to equate that to real world observations he somehow managed to, to skewer it uh, to try and fit his flat earth bias belief if you take the miles davis image for example he's trying to say that perspective makes them the hills in the background shrink down even though he fully understands if you watch his perspective videos he fully understands that the floor appears to rise on a flat surface yeah the floor appears to rise on a flat surface that means that all objects on that flat surface will appear to rise so how can you have objects that are taller than objects in front on a on a surface a flat surface that is always rising suddenly drop below the smaller object so he understands the laws of perspective but he just cannot uh, seem to understand that the real world doesn't conform to those laws of perspective when we see objects actually dropping down below the horizontal okay in this video here he makes bunches of videos like this and he he talks you'll hear him say the, the floor appears to rise to our eye level okay on a flat surface so he understands that but then he'll try to take this and say oh but it makes things drop below our eye line the horizontal but if you have the eye line at the same height as this is this the one that you, yeah, here which he demonstrates he demonstrates it in this video right here okay that nothing will drop below this line and yet people are showing observations where things that are bigger which i think does he have it in this one or is it another one yeah here so he, might, he, he does the demonstration of like a real world demonstration here. An object that's taller. Okay. Again here he shows it cannot drop below this line of sight if you're at the same level. Okay. So he seems to understand all this. So when somebody shows him in a real world observation just like this. Okay. They say look I'm the same level as these lighters. And there's a lighter in the distance but it's actually it's taller it's a taller lighter but it's dropped below these lighters okay he's got the demonstration right here and so the only way he could explain it is he went oh well yeah you just dropped the camera down but the observer has already said this is the beauty of miles davis's observation miles davis's observation is level he's level with these lighters that's why he negates that argument of perspective that you can just drop the observer, drop the camera down. So, you know, Fouquet would understands these laws of perspective, but he can't seem to understand that the real world doesn't match those laws of perspective. Again, here he does it here. He talks about it in this video. He talks in this video about how the... Uh, how the flat table appears to rise to okay so if there's mount uh, hills or mountains in the background that are taller than these 
they are always going to stay on this level but in reality people are showing that they are dropping below these smaller objects and so they'd say oh yes yeah, just perspective even though he understands that the flat earth should always be rising like this it's just this guy cannot in this video here it's, he, if, even in this video he says parallel lines cannot converge and then he tries to make the argument that the sun can set behind a cloud and he has the cloud on the floor and the sun on the floor so he's basically saying that the observer's line and their their lines have crossed <laughs> it's, it's just groundhog day with Phuket word it's just groundhog hog Phuket word day with this guys it's unbelievable but this is the mental illness of flat earth it really is this guy sits there he sat in a, a hangout with Dell the other day laughing and going they just don't get it they just don't get it they just don't get perspective like we don't get perspective and how observations like Miles Davis's image uh, doesn't work with your idea of how perspective works on a flat plane and that they're sitting there laughing saying everybody else doesn't get it it's just hilarious and uh, it, I want to show you if anyone's seen Phuket words. Um, I was trying to find the one where he puts the camera under the table. Um, it's so funny. He's got the camera so far <laughs> under the table. I can't find it now though. But if it, I'll tell you what is a good video. His uh, L-shaped uh, sunsets. Yeah. So sun sunset vertically, and then they and then they set horizontally. That's what Fuket does with his animations. Watch this. Okay, he has the sunset vertically, and then he'll make the sunset horizontally. Watch. Vertical. And now horizontal. <laughs> but look, can you see how he's made the sunset below the horizon? Right? But now, if you this is this is from when? 2016. But now if you jump to 2018, he's changed. He's, he's slightly changed it look now he says that the sun only sets halfway now his argument is the sun only sets halfway it sets vertically halfway okay has anyone seen a sunset halfway this is what he's trying to say that it stops okay but in 2016 he was he was showing that the sun sets all the way down all the way below but it goes vertical and then it moves along horizontally this is uh, vertically down down all the way and then horizontally but now he says the sun only sets halfway halfway vertically and then it moves away horizontally I mean does that make any sense this is this kind of mental gymnastics uh, Fouquet word needs to go free to try and uh, explain his view of the flat earth in reality because reality doesn't comport with his ideology whatsoever it's just uh, amazing so this guy in three years has progressed absolutely nowhere he hasn't moved anywhere with his argumentation he's been making the same perspective videos and if you you, you get an idea of how much of a linchpin perspective is in the flat earth ideology yeah you go through his channel most of his content is about perspective okay without perspective they can't answer anything about how the world works in the real world with and let the earth being flat they, they literally solely relies on perspective that's why you've just seen with the miles davis uh, image look he's come out with a hour-long video on perspective yeah Fouquet words had to make an hour-long video to try and deal with perspective with the same you know misconceptions he, it's not well he understands it but it, then he just misapplies it to reality because it doesn't work anyway that's all I had to say on that Groundhog Day with Fouquet words